Oh, my back. Your back is acting up again. Your muscles are sore and stiff. You can hardly bend. Try fitness lying down. When your back hurts, muscles can tighten up in knots of pain and its stiffness. Fitness lying down has more workouts to relieve back aches. Extra workouts you can't get at your traditional gyms. It's amazing what a difference a little paint and a couple of workouts at Fitness Lying Down can make. FLD, unique workouts for effective back pain relief. Somebody tweaks their back. They get that low back discomfort or pain. And what do we immediately do? We start stretching the area because we feel like there's this tightness. So that tightness we have to stretch because that's what we're told. Is anytime there's a tight muscle, stretch. Anytime there's a tight something, stretch. Anytime there's a tight something, stretch, 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 stretch. Well, I'm here to tell you, don't stretch. <laughs> Instead of stretching, let's not stretch right away. That might actually help, period. So many times we get people that'll crank on their back side to side, they're trying to crack their low back. The low back in itself is a very stable area. The problem, the reason why you have this low back problem is because there's already too much motion happening in your back. Your back is unstable. So what do we need to do? If something is unstable and we desire it to be stable, well, we have to stabilize it. Not restricting all motion, right? But we kind of go on the spectrum where it's like we want the spine to be fluid. We want that spine to move because it is mobile and it is resilient. And yes, that is true to some degree, but also it's not. <laughs> we want to make sure that where the spine stays stable, stays stable, because the definition that I've heard best when it comes to stability is providing motion in one part of your body while resisting unwanted motion in another part of your body. So the one thing that we love to use here is the joint by joint approach. It talks about the joints being either stable or mobile, stable or mobile, and these stack up on top of each other. So when it comes to your hips, your hip socket, all this, that area is very mobile. Your low back, stable. Your thoracic spine, the chest up to the neck, very mobile. So as I produce motion here in my shoulders, there should be no motion in my low back. But what happens if my hips get stiff and my hips aren't very mobile? Well, then my low back has to start acting more mobile to make up for the lack of mobility. And this therein lies the problem. Then all of a sudden I'm suffering from this unstable, too much motion in my low back. And it starts accumulating. I start putting a load on top of that. I start exercising, working out. This is going to exhaust my low back to the point where there's going to be low back problems. So let's use our hands and our feet. Because our hands and our feet are very stable. And that sets the table for a stable core. So when I grab onto something with my hands, I want to grab on tightly, squeeze. So if I've got a kettlebell, dumbbell, lever bell, sandbag handle, whatever, squeeze. Feet, if you can kick off those shoes and if you can have those dogs, <laughs> if you can have those dogs exposed, we want to lock those feet into the floor. Grab on tight because there starts the stability and that starts to chain up the body and what a great chain it is. Right? You could be deadlifting, you could be squatting, you could be lunging, you could be pressing, you could be pulling. If you're grabbing onto something with your hands, grab on tightly. And if you've got your feet exposed, and if, even if your feet aren't exposed, the intention of grabbing onto the ground and driving your feet into the floor is going to make all the difference. Sometimes we like to use mini bands. We'll use those mini bands as feedback to help people understand how to use their feet more properly so that we can set that foundation of stability so we can have mobility with stability with more mobility. Everybody wins. That's all i got to say about that. All right. Low back. One takeaway, don't stretch. Don't stretch the body part. Stabilize the body part. Hands and feet, necessary. Let's use them. All right? So, coffee is delicious today. You're welcome.